Okay, everyone, here's what we need to talk about today. It's more of a strategy, but of course, apply it towards the day for the 6th of April, today's date, so we can get you guys um, some efficient strategies here because uh, what I noticed here when I, as I experiment and play around with basically, since I've never done it before, um, three different sports at the same time. I have winnings here in hockey. Yeah, very good results actually. 10th out of 50th, 1517th out of 4790th. Should have won uh, something there, but then uh, in the NBA, I noticed of a drop off 38th of 50. Should have done better, but <clears throat> uh, baseball not bad. Uh, high percentage of, you know, uh, up in winnings there, uh, as you can see there from the results. But what I noticed I should have done and been more aware, like with the NBA and with any sport, as we're just going to switch over to uh, what I'm showing you here is it's like a paid or premium version of something that you can get relatively cheap or monthly, uh, showing you what you'll get like on the draft dashboard. So you can click on the link be below in the description box if you want to check that out. So. When you look at the top positions, uh, sorry, I'm trying to get the NBA because there are still some NBA full slates considered. I think it's six games today. Um, if you look at the, you have to go to the top players as there's a lot of tools and features on this. Definitely worth it. But you go and um, it's already set at the max depth chart. It is optimized towards FanDuel or DraftKings, whatever, wherever you play on. As you can see here, there's actually 10 games on tonight. That's what this tells me as well. So great. We've got a big slate to prove the value and worth of this uh, fantasy strategy. As long as you're checking the injuries and depth chart and so on, changes there. But uh, here are the top players, such as Howard, Drogic. There's an injury there. It's indicated there by the green or the heart. And so expected to play. But these guys here, uh, as I had him last night, he scored 36.8, very good, and so on. So, but the top watch players, as indicated here, because you don't get this anywhere, nowhere, at least not any free place or site anywhere, gives you um, a, an indication of which players are being watched, meaning the percentage of players that obviously you play on or play with here showing you the percentage. So let's see where I could have done better as I want you to evaluate where you can do better as well. Um, Bledsoe was 20% owned in out of 50 people. So higher there, higher end. Rivers 10%. Wiggins 20. 18% on Lou Williams. Of course 70% for LeBron. Four, only 4%. Uh, so I'm looking for basically where I could have, for example, gained more separation as I should have done this last night, would have showed me the current today's, as of yesterday's, you know, most watched or most played players indicated there. And so 6%, that was good. Gibson at 34, high percentage, but I didn't want to lose uh, 36 points. And Turner even ha probably had, yeah, 10%. Uh, so really, the only play, really what, what it is, it just had to have chosen the better center. Um, and then also probably uh, a little bit higher own percentage. Lou Williams only scored 13.7 for whatever reason there. Of course, uh, the Clippers are just trying to, well, they're supposed to be trying to secure a playoff spot. So not sure what's going on there as to why I, why I heard maybe the other guy started, not him. So that was an unwise decision by myself. As that's probably why he got um, that low of ownership. So... But looking at for today, we want to basically avoid playing too much of Ben Simmons. These are in order the most played. Definitely want to avoid playing too much of him, even though he's got a good matchup, everything going for him. But if you decide you don't want to fade him, of course, of course that's fine. If you want to play him to up upgrade, uh, pay up for a player. Uh, Daniel House is going to be highly owned at only 4,200. Deontay Davis at 3,500, highly owned center, and so on. So we see right here which guys are going to be highly played. You just have to de decide which guys to take out uh, and fade those. So I just want to give you that tip for today. 
and especially if 